guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Akanksha. So in today's video, we are going to talk about menstrual cups. I know I like I said this a long time ago that I'm going to make a video about it. I I told that on Instagram because I wanted to do that. You know, this is my first experience and this is what I felt kind of vlog. This was back in September, but. Um, you know months later here we are uh, i actually did try it for the first time but i feel like you know there was a lot going on i was very overwhelmed i didn't know what to do i did not know the right thing to do so i did not want to post something which was misinformed now 6 to 7 months in i've tried multiple cups and i know what i like i'm going to talk about everything in detail and obviously because you know it's 6 months ago the footage is going to be from my older house so i'm going to add bits and pieces uh, of that uh, vlog which i did so, like i did that vlog but it does not have all that you know information and i stopped vlogging it mid period because uh, i had few issues so i'm going to talk about various things my experience and give you a little more info of course i'm not a professional here this is just my experience with this uh, period cup i watched tons of videos before you know using it and making a decision so i'll link you know all the videos which i've checked or few of the videos which can you know help you refer like how to insert remove etc etc like a lot more like technical and professional information this is what my personal experience is and what i think about the cups so let's get started i have the cup right here so there are few videos i saw before making this video uh, i really really want to try this so i got this sirona pad free period cup so basically a menstrual cup in the size medium they said if you are like 22 and above or something like that that everything is there on the website now i'm just going to sanitize this so i think i'll get my periods in next 4 to 5 days or maybe like maximum 1 week so i just want to try this previously so i'll have this on for like 2 3 hours or more today just so that i know i'm comfortable then i can directly use it when i have period i don't want to use it directly on that day because i would not know what to do there's like going to be blood and everything sorry so oh, they gave a menstrual cup wash and an intimate wash so i'm going to use these two oh my god it took me a minute to get there so i took my time it took me almost 20 25 minutes to properly get it and mainly because it was in my head i was a little scared so it is in right now i'm pretty comfortable i don't you know feel anything except there's like that uh, what do you call that pointy thing of the cup which is coming outside i can feel that a little rest of the part i'm pretty comfortable yeah i will check it back in like 3 4 hours i'll put it on for 5 to 6 hours today so we have successfully inserted and removed the cup but there's a lot of learning curve in this when the cup is in my lower stomach hurted a little bit like you know it's a little bit of pain a mild sensation i don't know what to call it my stomach is paining guys hey guys just got my period i woke up to my period so it's around 7 o'clock i put the cup in this was actually this time actually it was quite easier to put than the first time because i kind of figured it out i think so i made sure like you know the suction is good or basically like it's at well put the cup in but i think i'm even going to wear a pad you know just in case i mean it's first time mishaps can happen at 6:50 i just took a shower i actually went like a rushed into a shower because uh, i had a little bit of leakage i put the cup around 8 o'clock so it's like almost 10 hours uh, there was no leakage but put that like post that like you know 9 and 1/2 10 hours maybe it got overflowed or uh, maybe like i don't know what happened i do i'm a person who like bleeds a lot uh, i do have a lot of excess flow and i was like sleeping in a very weird position so that also could be a reason because you know it was almost like in the ending and i was like you know doing all that st stupid stuff so yeah that was my first response like a first experience of a cup now the first time i tried i did try the serona a cup and i tried the size medium so i did stop vlogging mid period because i was extremely uncomfortable like the first two days was fine i think the pain which i was getting from the cup was not as much as the pain i got from the cramps so it kind of over powered it so i did not notice it but the third and fourth day it was still paining and usually for me i just have cramps like bad cramps the first two days and then i'm fine after that so even after like you know third day i was having this pain like i don't know how to describe like so when your bladder is extremely full and you don't pee you know you, there's a certain type of pain right so that type of pain i was getting with the cup so i just used to stop using this after the third day because 
it was not happening and i felt sick also during that time so you know i of course could not be related to this but my mom was like you know it's because of that so stop using it and i was like okay fine i'll stop using it i was sick as i was very overwhelmed i was thinking too much about it i was very scared etc so i stopped using it the first time so what i thought is probably it became too big for me that's the reason it was like kind of paining it was pushing up against the bladder a lot because there was less space inside and it was too big to sit inside so i ordered a smaller cup so this was uh, the sirona medium i wanted to order small in this but the, the small one was out of stock so i ordered the pea safe uh, uh, smaller one so i'll put all the diameters and etc on the screen so this is a medium cup and this is a small cup like this difference would not be like major major but obviously the small size is only make a difference inside you so once i bought this cup and i you know tried this on for the second time i was very comfortable online because they said 22 and above can use this one i bought this but i i don't know it did not fit me that well it was too big for me so this one really worked well so but of course i do have like really heavy flow so the first two days i have to like change this every 8 to 9 hours because it's a smaller cup it pours less of bra blood but the next you know 3 to 4 or 5 days i can change it every uh, 12 hours and it works perfectly fine so let's just talk about how this actually works so once you put it in and if it sits properly it creates a vacuum inside so all the blood is just collected on this and nothing drips out so when you have to remove it you have to break the suction and then pull it out don't directly pull it out you can hurt yourself so once it goes inside it creates a seal sits inside until you remove it and it just collects blood and stays inside so the first time i used it like you saw is very overwhelmed about inserting and removing it and i still am till some extent but i've been using it for a while so i'm comfortable with it there's a huge huge learning curve with this for sure because it's not something you know we are used to it's something very new like we're trying it for the first time so of course do your research whatever works for you you should uh, do that so for example there are a lot of different folds you can do with your cup to insert it inside so the two folds which i uh, you know like or worked out for me is one is like you bend and you do this this is the u shape So you put this, you do this, and you put it inside. Or one more is the punch down. So you just press like this, and you uh, make it like narrow, and then it goes inside. So this one is a very narrow one, so it's easier to go. But for me personally, with this one, the problem I had is once it went inside, it was difficult for the cup to open up, and I I had leakages because of it. So I always usually prefer this U one. It's a little bigger to go inside. but once it goes it just pops open really easily and you don't have to do that extra work of making it open usually the the punch down one the cup is like folded in half and it's really difficult for it to open inside so that's personally for me you work for other people punch down works so you have to do a research about that like i told you you have to do what works for you and that was just one of the examples of what you can learn and try in test another thing could be like the position it is like few people squat down and do few people sit on the toilet and do few people like there are various different position you can make yourself comfortable in so that you can insert your cup easily of course you need to go to a really like comfortable washroom to do this and one more thing is you need to be very comfortable with your own body or i know a lot of people get disgusted by such things so if you are like that person and you're not comfortable doing it then of course this is not for you but this is a really good option and i would thoroughly recommend it if you're a person who's using tampons or pads since a long time and you want to switch up to a cup but you are skeptical then you should definitely like i would 100% recommend it i would never ever go back to a pad again or tampon again so of course sometimes there can be leaks because not always the cups sit in properly but even when they are leaks they are very very minute it's not like it will stain through your outfit or anything so i feel this is the perfect time for you to try as well because for the next few months we are at home anyways again so even like when you get your period and want to try the cup you are still at home so if you're skeptical about going out with the cup then this is the time you can try it because you are at home and it will work out perfectly if something goes wrong also you are like you know the just your bathroom is like what 5 feet away you can go you can change try it again and one more thing is you cannot have nails you guys i don't know if there are people who have nails and use menstrual cups but personally for me it's not it like whenever i get my periods i chop off my nails because like you know you have to fold this in and put it in like i feel nails kind of 
hurt you down there like personally for me even when i have tiny bit of nails and something like this rough or uneven it does hurt so you know i don't want to do that so personally i've had a beautiful experience with menstrual cups and i've tried three different cups so i'm going to talk about them so like i told you one i tried with the serona uh, medium cup which was too big for me then i tried the pea safe small one which was perfect for me and one more thing i tried like i'm a pro reviewer i need to try you know a lot of uh, things if i want to make a really good decision then i tried the carnesi one as well so this and this are of like the same size and hold the same amount but in this carnesi is medium and pea safe is small because carnesi has even more smaller version of this is which is amazing so because after this there's no smaller option in pea safe carnesi has that so for there's a smaller version than this one also for uh, uh you know teenagers etc so serona's medium would be large for carnesi so the size and etc is very dependent from brand to brand and you have to figure out what works for you three of these cups are really really good but be mindful that you have to sterilize it really well before i use it i boil it in water for like 5 to 10 minutes and then uh, i use it so every time like once you're done using it just boil it and keep it store it inside or just boil it prior to using it so that you don't have like any bacteria etc out there you don't want to put that in your vagina and get like some infection or something so only important thing about this is sterilization like one thing of course is like don't panic when you're doing it because the more you panic the more stiffer you go- your body gets and the more difficult it is to insert or remove it so you have to kind of you know stay calm do like you know prepare yourself mentally because i've panicked and it kind of gets difficult as well so you need to calm down <sighs> take deep breaths if you're really scared and then go ahead and do it let's go with pros and cons of pads versus menstrual cups okay so when it comes to the pads pros i don't see any pros right now but when it comes to cons there are so many not good for the environment not good for your body if you don't know pads are supposed to be changed every 6 to 8 hours no matter how much you bleed because it can get toxic for your body imagine like you bleed for 6 days and you use a four pad every day that's 24 pads is almost like 250 to 300 bucks so it's not cost effective because you have to buy that every month it is not cheap or is you constantly feel it the stickiness the rashes all that shit we don't want that uh, and when it comes to pros of the cup it is so much it is not irritating it's good for the environment it's good for your body it's cost effective because you just have to buy one you guys and this will go on for years so the expiry date of each cup depends from brand to brand but mostly everything is about 2 years anyways so you just buy one thing for 300 and 350 rupees and this goes on for years and years you don't have to buy again and you can you're not restricted to do anything you can work out in this there won't be any leaks you can swim you can go on a vacation you really don't have to rethink going on a vacation or a beach vacation next time you have periods because it just it does not matter like you would not feel uncomfortable going in water because the blood is not anywhere outside it's inside it's secure it's safe and you're good to go when it comes to cons in uh, uh, menstrual cup the only thing i would say is uh, sterilizing like it's not a con it's just like a, obviously a precaution you need to take which you always always have to do and the second one would be you have to be very comfortable with your body and you have to be careful as a like huge learning curve i don't really see these as a coins but this is my personal experience it has been amazing and i've been recommending cups to my friends like since i tried uh, cups because it's so much better like i you know there's a saying in like i think menstrual cup community because i've seen a lot of videos and people always say that my period game is never going to be the same again and i truly truly say that it has just changed everything like i feel so much more comfortable like i'm not irritated by periods like already you're very cranky because of all the hormones and pads like i, I never try tampons so i'm when i'm wearing pads i used to get more irritated because of all that chick chick so now i don't have that so i will link all these three cups so yeah guys that's it this is not a sponsored video this is just my experience and i would really recommend you to try Uh, a cup virginity is a myth like it does not break your virginity it does not do anything it is just a cup you guys you are doing it for you who is a man to take your virginity anyway like don't preserve it for a man do it for yourself and it's a societal term anyways 
so yeah that's it for this video i hope somebody is motivated to use a cup because of this and if you please shift to menstrual cup after this let me know i would love to know you guys like i would love to know that like i kind of changed your mind to use it because i would feel so happy that um, you know you've been on this journey because of me so yeah anyways thank you so much for watching if you like this video then make sure like and subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell and i'll see you guys in my next video